I'm sure that everyone watching this video has heard about the two new Archer Commanders coming to the game, Herman Prime and Ashura Bunny Pal, and we didn't really know what their skills were up until today. Today, just a couple hours ago, Lilith released on their Chinese servers official skills for Herman Prime, and that is really, really interesting. So in today's video, I'm obviously going to be discussing those skills. I also have a bit of footage of Herman Prime's actual active skill animation, so we can see what that looks like. And I'm going to be discussing Herman Prime's best pairs, while also discussing Herman Prime's nerf, because he's already been confirmed to have a nerf that no one really knows about. So if you want to know about the nerf coming to Herman Prime, and also all of his active skills and everything else to do with him, you want to stick around till the end of the video. Now let's just start off today's video by really simply getting into Herman Prime's skills. There's no point making a video about Herman Prime and not discussing his skills, so let's switch over and look at them now. Now on screen we can see Herman Prime and all of his skills, but before we get into all his skills and everything, let me give a quick shout out to Aquila Gaming, hopefully I didn't butcher that, but he translated everything in here. Obviously I can't speak Chinese and they translated it for us. So thank you very much to them. Go give their channel a check out after this video. I'm sure they make some very interesting Rise of Kingdoms videos. Now, the first thing that we know about Herman Prime is that he's going to be an Archer Versatility Support Commander. A, it shows us in the bottom like left hand side, but also Lilith did confirm this when they spoke about him. Other than that, let's just get right into his skills because there's not much else to discuss. Herman Prime's first skill, Forest of the Fallen Angels, is his active skill with a rage requirement of 1000. So he doesn't have a reduced rage requirement, it is still that 1000 rage requirement. The next part of his active skill is the fact that he deals direct damage up to three enemies in a fan shaped area. Damage factor 2000. Every additional target reduces the damage by 15%. That is very normal stock standard stuff. But we can easily confirm now Herman Prime is not a smite damage commander because he is dealing direct damage factor, which is not smite damage. So Herman Prime is just a normal damage factor commander, not a smite damage factor commander. The next part about his active skill, which is probably the most interesting part, is related more towards his main debuff. And this is troops hit by this skill being his active skill get inflicted with three stacks of poison for 10 seconds. This effect can be stacked up to 15 times and its duration resets whenever they gain another stack. Each stack of poison increases the skill damage the target takes by 3%, which is a lot of stuff to take in there. So pretty much what can we easily take away from this? Well, Herman Prime is able to deal a three target AOE and inflict stacks of poison, which are pretty much the exact debuffs that Tamiris deals. And we know this because it was confirmed when people found out by clicking onto a few other commanders that Herman Prime would be dealing stacks of poison. And this active skill just shows it right off the bat. He is dealing three stacks of poison that last 10 seconds and it's an AoE. So basically he's going to deal nine stacks of poison on an active skill, which is the highest out of any commander in the game. There's a lot of stacks of poison to be throwing into a murderable. It's going to support you a lot and it's going to support the rest of your murderable. So that is really powerful. The other thing is that it's just like Tamaris. It stacks up to 15 times. Its duration resets whenever it gains another stack and each one increases the skill damage the target takes by 3%. This means that we can infer Herman Prime will be able to synergize with Tamaris in the fact that Tamaris won't be basically conflicting with his stacks, she will only add on extra. So Herman Prime is very, very powerful in that regard that he can add stacks of poison which go with Tamaris and also he won't be kicking Boudicca Prime out the meta. We know this because when we look at his skills, it's poison. It's not just pure skill damage increase. So his poison, which allows the target to take more skill damage, will also stack with Boudicca Prime's poison debuff which makes the target take more skill damage. So he's got that very, very powerful synergy right there where he works with Tamaris, his debuff is strong, and it works with Boudicca as well. So he won't be conflicting with any commanders so far, and that is just a very powerful active skill, especially the fact that it's got a three-target AoE. Herman's next skill is called Germania, and the way this skill works is it's pretty much just a pure stat skill. Archer units will be able to gain 20% defense, 20% attack, and 15% march speed. It's just Pure stats right there and a fairly high amount of them. That's a good amount of defense, a fairly low amount of attack to be honest. I would have expected 30 to 40%, but still attack nonetheless. And then a really good amount of march speed for an Archer Commander. 15% march speed everywhere, including territory, off territory. Whenever he's like not even buffed, he just always has that march speed, is really good. So pretty much this is like Nebru's skill, but slightly better. And I'm a pretty big fan of it. I do like this skill quite a bit. Herman Prime's third skill is called the Pack Leader, and the way this skill works is if he is attacking another troop on the map, so he doesn't work, this doesn't work pretty much in garrisons or in resource nodes, 
the AoE skill damage caused by your units is increased by 20%, which is actually something we have not seen before. We've never seen something that is specifically related to AoE skill damage, and it's an increase by 20%. So that is a pretty decent amount of AoE skill damage increase. So we can pretty much infer that he's going to work well with AoE commanders. Any commander that has an AoE has a good chance of working with Herman Prime because they will just get basically free skill damage for being an AoE. We don't know though if this might have been a translation error. Maybe it's just the skill damage caused by your unit is increased by 20%. That is probably more possible because we've never seen AoE skill damage. But then again, it could be something new and unique. So if that is the case, he's going to work really well with AoE commanders. And even if he is with a single target commander, he will still be himself affected by that skill because he deals AoE damage. So that's just a pretty much boost 20% to his skill damage and any other AoE commanders. The next part of this exact same skill is if he's attacking another troop on the map, pretty much I'm presuming if he's attacking troops on the map, it doesn't have to be a different troop. After casting his active skill, the target unit's defense will be reduced by 20% for two seconds. I know it says two seconds, the target unit defense will be reduced, but I think that's once again a small translation error. It is the target unit's defense will be reduced by 20%. And that's a passive skill. We know that's a passive skill since it's not his active skill. So that is just a nice debuff to have. And it will stack with every other defense debuff in the game. And I think that this defense reduction is also visible on Tamaris. Tamaris has the same defense reduction. So that is a very nice and very strong passive skill slot. If it was a health debuff, it would be insane. But obviously reducing defense in a passive skill to stack with any other commander is really good. The next part of the pack leader says that the damage taken by arch units from cavalry units is increased by 5%, and the damage taken by arch units against infantry is increased by 5%. I don't think that is accurate. I think that is worded wrong because, because I don't think that Lilith would make him take more damage from cavs and more damage from infantry. I think that what's happening here is that he deals 5% more damage to infantry, but takes 5% more damage from cavalry, or he takes 5% more damage from cavalry and takes 5% less damage from infantry. So I don't think he's basically taking an extra 10% all damage. That is probably just, again, a translation error on this skill. I'm pretty sure it means that he is going to take an extra 5% from cavs and deal an extra 5% to infantry. Very similar through how Amanatori has on her, I think it's like her third skill, she takes some more damage from Cavs, she deals some more damage to infantry, which is, it's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors effect there. Obviously, Cavs right now are very strong against archers, so Joan Prime AoEs are definitely going to be very impactful on Herman Prime, but it's not too bad. And the extra damage to infantry whenever you are attacking infantry will allow you to beat them by just that much more. So I don't mind that, but again, I don't really like how you're taking extra damage. Although it could just be a reduction from 5% against Cavs and 5% against Infantry, and it is a translation error. So we will have to see really what this is like when either the English versions come out or it is fully released into the game. Now the next skill, Roman Prime's fourth skill, is called Mandrake Brew, and this is another very powerful skill. And the way it works is, all damage taken from poisoned units is reduced, the damage reduction is equal to the number of enemy units' poison stacks, by 1%. So that is again worded a little bit weirdly, but what it really means is that all the ore damage that Herman Prime only takes will be reduced by 1% per stack of poison on enemy marches. So whenever Herman Prime inflicts poison stacks onto their opponent, not only are they going to be taking an increase of 3% skill damage per stack, they will also be dealing 1% less all damage to Herman Prime specifically. So Herman Prime's march is going to be fairly tanky and pretty fast. That's what we can pull away from that. But because 15% all damage reduction is probably up there with some of the highest in the game, if not the highest. So that is just a really strong skill right off the bat. And I'm surprised that Lilith made Herman Prime do this. That is something we've never seen where he changes what an effect can really do. But that is very powerful and definitely will make him a lot more tanky. The next part of Mandrake Root is actually related to dealing more poison, and the way it works is each basic attack has a 10% chance of causing direct damage to up to 3 enemy units within a fan-shaped area. This damage factor is 200, every additional target reduces the damage by 15%. Normally Lilith doesn't actually reduce a skill like this, but maybe they did it for the first time, though I don't think they did. I think it's just damage factor. 200 to the opponent and it's going to be no reduction. They wouldn't normally do that. The next part of that is that each target that's hit by this skill actually is applied with two stacks of poison effects. So that is very good and obviously it lasts 10 seconds and the skill has a cooldown of 3 seconds. So there's a little bit of city popping capability there being able to inflict the poison possibly even on a rally or a garrison. So that is kind of powerful and the cooldown is really short. So if you get lucky you could pretty much get someone to 15 stacks of poison 
within like two skill cycles, which is insane. But that is a fairly strong skill, especially the fact that it is applying poison effects. If it didn't apply poison, then you wouldn't really care that much, especially since it's reducing the damage to each target. But the poison stacks are going to be very powerful, and it's almost like dealing a double active skill just without the damage factor. Now, Hermit Prime's expertise, Pursue of Enemies in Retreat, actually is a way for him to deal another active skill. And the way it works is, for every 25 stacks of poison applied to enemy units, the level 5 Forest of the Fallen Angels will be casted again, cooldown of 10 seconds, and that is a fairly powerful skill. The way it works is, if Herman Prime's active skill goes off and does 9 stacks of poison in total, and then his Mandrake root goes off and does another 6, he could have 15 stacks, and in the next skill cycle, he'd be able to reach that active skill and drop that pretty much extra poison damage and get two skill cycles to go off, which is really powerful. So Simon Prime's gonna have that potential for a double active skill AoE, almost like John Prime, but it's also got a crazy debuff. So he's gonna be dealing poison effects, which allow him to deal more poison effects, which allow him to deal more poison effects, and it's gonna be that infinite loop. So Herman Prime, with all the poison effects, looks extremely powerful. Now, the next thing I would like to discuss about Herman Prime is the fact that he has actually already been nerfed, and this nerf is a pretty simple one. It's the fact that his active skill now only will deal two stacks of poison and not three. You can see right there, it does say he deals three stacks of poison. That is not true. He deals only two stacks now. So that is not true. It is only two stacks. It is actually quite an impactful nerf. Usually what would happen is with Herman Prime, what we could see already is he could get his active skill, his second active skill from his expertise to go off within two skill cycles. But now it's going to take three to four skill cycles depending on how lucky he gets with the Mandrake root. So that is kind of unfortunate, the fact that his skill has already been nerfed. I think that it would have been a little bit stronger if he did that three stacks and would have allowed him to deal a lot more active skills. But he still seems like a strong commander in spite of that nerf. So just as a reminder, he's going to be dealing two stacks of poison, not three on his active skill. It has been changed and confirmed by Lilith. Now, the next thing I'm sure everybody is quite curious about when it comes to Herman Prime are his real good pairings. And from what we can see from his skills, which I keep in mind subject to change, maybe that nerf gets undone, maybe he gets nerfed more, maybe he gets buffed. We don't know until he is fully released. I can kind of pull away, though, a few pairs that he's going to be good with. And the first one is... Any of the three main AoE Archer Commanders are going to work with him. And the main one I think that's going to go with Herman Prime, which I'm sure Lilith was going for, is Zulang. Zulang is going to be a very strong commander to go with Herman Prime because Herman Prime is going to increase his AoE damage and also make him take less all damage. And also Herman Prime has March Speed. It's pretty much everything Zulang would want in a commander. And I'm sure that Herman Zuge is going to become one of the main open field archer marchers and probably the one that most players run. So that's my guess for his main march. I think once he releases, we're going to see Zulang with Herman really become a dominant force, especially with all of Herman's debuffs. But that being said, YSG and also Nebuchadnezzar still have a lot of potential to be good pairs with him. Nebu has a lot of march speed with him. As a Ruins march, I'll probably be running a Nebu Herman because of how fast it is. And then YSG, obviously, because of his AoE, because of his crazy skill damage and really good rage cycle, we could also see working with Herman Prime. One thing to note, though, is that Herman Prime does not have the skill tree, so we could actually be seeing a Zulang primary meta. That is certainly possible if you want to get that skill tree, especially since it allows Herman to get his rage going much quicker so that he can deal extra poison stacks. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see that skill tree or a lot of people running the Horn of Fury on their Herman March, because like I normally do with my Henry, who is running the support tree, I run a Horn of Fury with him because he needs that extra kickstarting rage, and without a commander like YSG, Herman Prime's definitely going to need a lot of rage, and to get him going, the skill tree is the best way to do that, so Zulang Primary may be a way that I end up going in the future to go with my Herman Prime. Other pairs that could work for Herman Prime, I think Boudicca Prime still has potential with him, because Yes, she doesn't get that extra AoE buff, but she's very tanky. And as Herman Prime is a really good debuff commander, if you want to use him as mainly a debuff commander, you could easily put him with Boudicca Prime and go for just pure debuffs and really, really high tankiness. And since he's got an AoE, Boudicca won't be missing an AoE like Artemisia might have. So Boudicca Prime with Herman Prime still has a lot of potential. And even Henry, because Henry is another really tanky Archer commander, I think they would both work quite well with him. One last pair that I think would work for Herman Prime is actually Tamiris, but to be honest, I think this is one of the pairs that you only go for if you're looking for a literal pure debuffing march, and even then it might not be the best option, and here's why. The way Tamiris' active skill works is pretty much 
she gets rid of the poison stacks on the opponent to deal some form of damage factor. And I think it gets to like a maximum of like 1,900 total damage factor to only one target. And to be honest, if you're running a lot of AoE marches and you're trying to deal AoE, for example, maybe you've got like a Drone Prime, you've got a Lao Che, you've got a Zuj Lang, a YSG, and a Nebu in your Murder Ball, which is just crazy amounts of AoE, I don't think that basically removing the skill damage debuff on your opponent with Tamiris is going to be good. It's going to make Herman Prime a lot less capable of dealing a ton of debuffs. But keep in mind, if you do have Tamaris with Herman, you're dealing more stacks of poison, they're more consistent, and once you deal 25, you do get that second active skill. So with Tamaris, I'm kind of in a place where I'm like, she doesn't look like she's going to work, but also she has the potential to work. So I don't really know how Tamaris is going to go with Herman Prime. Keep in mind though, a lot of players don't have her. Some players do, but a lot of players don't. And a few of her skills are only related to Rally. So I think Tamaris has potential, but to be honest, she's not a commander I'm going to be going for if I want to pay with Herman Prime. I'll be looking more into the meta commanders, especially commanders like Zulang and YSG, who have really good AoEs and have potential to pair well with a tanky and fairly fast commander like Herman Prime. So I think Tamaris has potential, but she's lacking AoE. She removes the poison stacks, which is obviously a bad thing. And overall, she looks like she's going to be somewhat synergizing, but also in some ways not synergizing with Herman Prime, and in general, in a murder ball. If Herman Prime actually does become weaker because of Tamaris, a lot of players might just give up on using her entirely, and even now we've seen her fall out of the meta quite a bit. But do keep in mind, she has received a relic recently, and it was a fairly strong relic, so there is still the possibility that because of her health increase on the relic and the extra march speed that she gets, she could end up with Herman Prime. And if that's the case, I might even consider investing in Tamaris, which is something I never thought I would say. Now, other than those main commanders I mentioned, a lot of the Archer commanders don't really look like they're going to work with Herman Prime. And what I should mention really specifically is Artemisia because Herman Prime is not silence immune. And unlike Tamaris, you want to have a fast rage cycle with Herman. So I'm not going to really be a big fan of a Herman with Artemisia. Personally, I think that's just not going to work. Herman with Edward of Woodstock, pretty much Herman with any of the commanders I'm showing you right now, isn't going to be a very optimal pair. I mean, a Minot's Ray could work. There's nothing in her kit that really stops you from working. And the same thing with Gilgamesh. But the rest of these commanders aren't strong enough or just wouldn't really work with him because of a bunch of reasons. So overall, I think Herman's a fairly versatile commander. He's going to work with a lot of the archers. But mainly, I think his two best pairings will be the Zulang and the YSG as his main ones. Tamaris, though, definitely has the potential to be a strong pair. We'll just have to see where that goes when he's fully released. Now, the last thing I would like to discuss is Herman Prime's active skill animation. And yes, this video is really low quality, but it's the only one I could find. And here's what his active skill would look like. You can see a like green line jumps out the air. It smashes into the opponent and puts some arrows. And if we scroll back a little bit, we can actually see the poison stats inflicted, and it actually looks like a 2, or maybe that's a 3, I don't know, it's very blurry, I can't really tell, but it looks like a 2, which is strange, and I think that does show the nerf I was talking about before, so I don't know if it's a 3, I don't really know if it's a 2, but the image is super blurry, but you kind of get the vibe of what his active skill would look like. So now that we've seen everything to do with Herman Prime, we've looked at his skills, I've discussed potential pairings, and we've seen what his active skill actually looks like, and also discussed his surprise nerf. I want to know what you guys think about him. Do you think Kermit Prime is a must-invest commander? Do you think that he's more related to Archer mains? Because I want to get the community's opinion before I end up expertising him. So let me know what you think about Herman Prime. Is he a commander you will be investing in? Or are you just going to watch people like me spend all our gold sculptures on maybe even a trash commander? So let me know down below in the comments if you like Herman Prime or if you think that he is not the commander you expected and he might not be as strong as people think. Now, I just want to say thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one.